you think this is? What you Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Papa Marfala! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Matt the Immortal! Ready, fight. Ready. Good. All right, here's the eternally aggressive Matt Brown as we get going here for round one. This man knows one direction, it is forward. And I would think when you prepare for a guy like Matt Brown, you gotta make sure you leave something in the tank for the latter rounds. This is a very difficult fighter to put away. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was gonna go to that front kick early. And he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick. Expect him to keep going here. Because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. And he caught the kick. Brown gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking game. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Fast pace here in the early going. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Brown. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? <laughs> Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Brown's now dealing with a cheek cut. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that kick in. Oh, big elbow. Block that punch. Whiffs on the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Mike Pilot. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. The fighters separate. Heavy body kick lands. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Brown's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all of these shots coming man. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Brown's now switching his stance. Now some separation. Over two minutes to go in the round. Oh. Shots being landed on both sides. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Nice straight right, Lance. And there's another straight. It's there by Brown. Lance a nasty body kick. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. 
Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Lot's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. So now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Second round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who quotes goes down first. Both. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Oh. Block that strike. Just misses with that big right hand. Huge knee lands in place. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I do. Oh! We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, you got to buy the effort. He's still striking, he's still landing, but the gas tank is basically on empty. Let's see if he can preserve it here moving forward. Beautiful strike. Oh, he hurt again! Under three minutes now to go on the round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Brown. Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal Brown. So the celebration is on for Matt Brown, who finds himself in a familiar spot, the UFC winner's circle. Whether he needs to lean on his heart or his skills or his toughness, the Immortal will find a way. He'll make you earn it. Congratulations to Matt Brown on the W tonight.